see faces, like this one. Or trouble with low light. That makes driving at night a real challenge. If you've been diagnosed with AMD and notice vision changes, don't wait. GA is irreversible. It's important to catch it early. Talk to your eye doctor about GA and learn more at gawon'twait.com. Who says you can't go for bold without going broke? Get the brands you want, the prices you want, whenever you want. TJ Maxx, where you can always afford to be you to the max. Count on CarPros for a stress-free car buying experience with transparent pricing and great offers like this one. Lease a new 2024 Kia Telluride S with payments of just $449 per month. Visit us, CarPros Kia Glendale. Are you ready for a physical keyboard on your phone again? Hands-on with a new gadget called Clicks in TechSmart. Monday at 5 a.m. Good morning, I'm Annie Rose Ramos. It has been one year since the mass shooting in Monterey Park. Coming up, we are checking in with the community members who are forever impacted by that deadly day. That's next. And breaking this morning, a SoCal store ran by a vehicle, then ransacked by 15 suspects, grabbing all they can. The wild surveillance video you have to see to believe, and it is first on five. And apparently it's quitting season, that time of year that people start calling it quits on their New Year resolution. Coming up, can you guess which ones people drop first? We'll explain. And we could see some light showers today, heavy rain happening overnight. We'll talk about how much rain and snow we're expecting. And this morning in entertainment, we tackle the rumors. Rumors of an office reboot, and we put to rest rumors surrounding another popular show. KTLA Week. Good morning, news at 9 o'clock. I'm Lauren Lister. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I'm Megan Tellis. I know there's a lot going on in terms of weather, so yeah. I'm going to get straight to Casey because you've been updating us all morning. We even saw live snow flurries, mm -hmm. Casey. Mm -hmm. Definitely nice to see, but we are seeing a little bit of light rain still. It was heavier overnight. I know a lot of us woke up to a little bit of raindrops on the car. You could see it on the street, but this is what we have seen over the last hour. Again, expect very light shower activity today. Some of us will be dry. It's what's to come tonight that's going to bring us significant rainfall. From our Huntington Beach camera, dry but cloudy, and that will be what it looks like for the rest of the day. 63 in Van Nuys right now, 54 for Riverside, 52 in Lancaster, and 60 in Point. Magoo. And temperatures this afternoon, they'll be very similar to yesterday, maybe a degree cooler. 39 right now in Big Bear. It's 60 in Ontario, 62 for Santa Monica, 64. Or actually, there's a high today. This is not what it is. So 60 will be the high in Santa Clarita today and 66 in Palm Springs. All right, again, heavy rain coming tonight, gusty winds and more snow. We'll talk more about that coming up. Back to you. Casey, thank you. We do want to begin with breaking news at this hour. Look at this. A business in Bellflower ransacked by a large group of thieves at about 545 this morning. The scene here, a store called Hype Kingdom on Lakewood Boulevard is what you're looking at. And the surveillance video you will see first on five from the owners of the store. It shows how the group made entry using what we're told is a government vehicle. The suspects ran through the front of the business. That's when at least 15 of them, all wearing hoodies and masks, began wiping the store out. The owners believe at least 500 items were stolen. This brazen burglary, still under investigation, of course, and we will bring you the latest updates as they become available on air and online. Turning now to our top story, today marks a tragic milestone right here in Southern California history. It has been one year since the Monterey Park mass shooting. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos is live in Arcadia with more on the, how the community is mourning and reflecting a year later. Looks like you are at Arcadia Donut, Donut still where we know one of the survivors. Uh, it's their shop and yeah. her dance partner was tragically killed. But you yeah. told us Annie Rose last hour, Sally is dancing again, which is she great is. to hear. 
We're so happy to hear it, but you know, one of the things that they have been doing here at this donut shop is honoring the life of Andy Cow. He was one of the victims, one of the 11 who lost their lives on that deadly night, on that deadly shooting. I want to bring in Francois and Sally. You were so sweet to stay with us for one more hour. Tell us a little bit about Andy, because Francois, there's a vigil tonight. I know you're going to be talking about Andy, but for those of us who didn't get a chance to meet him, tell us a little bit about him. And he was a kind man. He was called uh, Mr. Nice from uh, other people who danced. Mr. Nice. Mr. Nice, <laughs> yes. Because he was teaching the new people who came to the dance floor yeah. who didn't know how to dance, he was teaching them. And uh, he was nice to us because all the time he, he had time, he asked us, Oh, Francois, Sally, do you want to come to join me to eat, to, to eat together? We say, Yeah, when we have time, we always mm -hmm. wear go with him and any party anything he want to invite us uh, both of us so sally you have pictures up above us where i know one of them is you and andy together you were dance partners for 15 years an incredible amount of time to spend to him now you were telling us last hour that at one point he kind of shielded you underneath the table at the time of the shooting and you looked down at your hands and they were covered in blood and andy lost his life that night but tell us a little bit more about him uh, that night when I see all the the blood cover on my hand, that's why I was like crazy. Like yeah. you don't know what you, you just yell, 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 yell nonstop oh. at that time. That's why, you know, when I see him, you know, just fall down and just like that go, I, I don't know how to say it that time, you know, like left, right, see all the blood, you know, so oh. scary at that time. It's, it, you know, I, I know that the fundraiser today, people are coming in to buy their donuts, and part of the fundraiser is to go toward, you know, a community group that allows you and other victims who have experienced a shooting to come together and talk a little bit about it, go through a little bit more therapy. Can you talk about that? You said you've been, been there to the community group 16 times, the survivors talking about what you've been through. No, I mean, uh, see 16 the psychology. times yeah. you went to psychology. see psychology. psychology. So it's yeah. called uh, Chinatown Service Center. Mm -hmm. She's been there. Uh, MPK, mm -hmm. she go as a group. How has it helped? It helped a lot. It teach yeah. you that a lot of things that you... Before I didn't go, I was, he was pushing me go. I say, no, no, no. I don't want to go. And after that, he always say, go, go, go three times at least. And then how, if you don't like, you don't need to go. That's why I keep going. When I go with him, you know, the psychology, they keep like, yeah. guide you, this, that, that, let you more, your stress more like, release a lot. And then I keep, mm, I have to go over there. Because so the, you know, I keep going, keep going. And that's until today, getting better a lot. It's getting better. Yeah, well, so that. much, so many paths to healing that we've been hearing about this morning. But in the meantime, we want to put up that full screen to learn about that vigil. As I mentioned, Sally and Francois are going to be there talking about Andy, and there are going to be so many more talking about those 11 victims, those 11 people that lost their lives. And in the meantime, community coming together and healing in the wake this one year anniversary of that tragedy in Monterey Park. Reporting live, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. And our Annie Rose Ramos for doing a fantastic job out there this morning connecting so we can really get a, a good grasp as to what happened that day, how people felt that day. And for our viewers, too, who sat here, when Lauren, you and Doug did an incredible job walking us through that entire day and a horrible experience for everyone. While it's been a year, it's only been a year and so much more healing to do. Thank you, Annie Rose. We'll check back. The Newport surgeon, once accused of drugging and sexually assaulting several women, is now seeking damages from the County of Orange. Back in 2018, Dr. Grant Robichaux and his girlfriend were accused of assaulting as many as 1,000 women they met at Newport Beach night spots. However, those sex charges were dropped or dismissed. Now Robichaux claims the legal costs and the flood of bad publicity caused by this case damaged he and his girlfriend financially and then torpedoed his medical career. During the process, Robichaux lost his Balboa Peninsula home and voluntarily allowed his medical license to be suspended. The couple is now reportedly living in an RV. It is not clear how much Robichaux is seeking in damages. All right, to our other big story this morning, weather. Don't put your umbrellas away yet. Another wet and soggy day is in store for Southern California. You're looking at video showing the heavy rain in Baldwin Park and El Monte overnight. You can see it was falling steadily, even heavy at times. <clears throat>
I like the rain because I think we need water. California is very dry. I think we need it. We yeah. cannot complain. And this is video from rain in Anaheim near Disneyland. You can see people in those ponchos walking, even running there, uh, <laughs> trying to get inside and get out of the rain. Casey Montoya has the latest. I got stuck in a downpour yesterday out walking the dog. Mm. Yeah, and you know, it's going to be so windy overnight into early tomorrow morning. It's one of those conditions where an umbrella is not really going to do you mm -hmm. any good. So, you good know, point. a rain jacket, but try and stay inside if you can, because these are potentially dangerous conditions. And let's get right to it. The Max Doppler not showing us that as far as precipitation. We did see some showers through the IE into the mountains, though, in Orange County over the last four to five hours or so, and more to come. A gloomy day from our LAX camera right now. Now, don't have any flight delays to tell you about just yet, but of course you always want to make sure you check before you leave for the airport. Over the last 24 hours, this is a look at some of our rainfall totals over a half an inch for all these spots. Long Beach, Woodland Hills, Huntington Beach, and San Bernardino. And by this time tomorrow, all of these numbers will be significantly higher. Current conditions, it is 55 in Ontario, 60 in Santa Ana, 52 in Palmdale right now, and 58 at LAX. And just like yesterday, air quality good for everyone across SoCal. So the winds will pick up for the desert and mountains this afternoon, but much stronger winds to come overnight into early Monday morning as the power